Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create bitwise and assignment operators. This is brought to you from ajamboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to use the bitwise and assignment operator. Use bitwise and assignment operators to compare two values of the same numeric integer type to return one if they match. So what this basically means is that the bitwise AND operator can only be used on integers. So integers are the basic number which is about 32 bit and if if you have a number that's bigger than uh, that, you need to, so you can use the bit big int. So it's integer. If you try to use a float when it's doing this uh, binary operation, it will be converted to an integer. So you will get, you might not get the desired result. So it's always better to make sure it's an integer or a whole number. It's the same thing. As you know, uh, ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript course whereby it will be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript as course runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. You can also run server-side in embedded platforms uh, allowing it to run outside a web browser. Now, as you know, if uh, I explain what a binary operation is, so you can just look in a glossary here, that's a mathematical rule for combining two operands to produce another. So what that means is that, for example, uh, an operand is basically just the values you have, the two different values you're going to use. Now, there's also logical and, that's actually what it will run. Logical AND just means that if the operands are the same, then it will be true, or the condition is tr uh, true, uh, if, if it matches. That's what that means. A big int, as I explained before, it's a numeric value, which is too large for the default number data type. And you have a truth table which illustrates the behavior of the bitwise logic or operators. So for example here in this table you see you have number one, number two and the result. So you have zero and zero so that will be basically false. Zero and one obviously will be false, one and zero will be false. Now if you have one and one those will be true. So for example if I have uh, a number five and three that will result in the number one. If you want me to go over uh, the way computers work in the binary zeros and ones, I can explain that in a future tutorial. That will be a generic tutorial. It doesn't necessarily have to be about JavaScript. I can explain that, but I, you know, if you took any basic remedial math, they do teach that. It's pretty straightforward. And you can expand here to see the code for this tutorial. If you can also look at the screenshot. I also use, uh, for this story, we're going to use some big ints as well, so that way you understand uh, the difference. As you can see in the screenshot, you know, I have a single digit, 5 and 3, and then the big int of a very, very long number. And, of course, this is the output here, and this is the video you're watching. Be sure to subscribe for more frequent uh, tutorials. If you have any requests, just let me know. Lots of ways to let me know. You can... Uh, write a comment in the below this video. You can go to any of the websites and fill out the uh, contact form. Uh, yeah, or you could make even uh, if you prefer, you can even make uh, a video and you can just send it to me or just uh, pay, uh, page me. So let's begin. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just copy the just to show you I can simply paste it's pretty straightforward and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create four variables okay so the first one i'll call it num1 i'll make it five let num2 equals three let num3 equals you see i put an n at the end that's uh, Donates that it's going to be a uh, a big int. So num four. Let's 
stop and that's also a big end. So if I say num1 ampersand num2, this is going to be true. So one of the reasons you might want to use uh, these days it doesn't really matter because most most computing devices are pretty fast but in the past when you had limitations with memory or long compute times the bit uh, this bitwise was very important because you you could um, you could it, it's much faster than the than the other way of computing So it's a good way to estimate big int. So we we'll do num three and num four. By the way, you 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 cannot uh, mix and match. So I can't use a regular uh, integer with a big int for comparison it will produce an error so here I'll do 5n and if you use uh, if you use big int the result will also be big int so for example this one it's going if it was 5 and 3 it would be 1 but it will be 1n because it's a big int as you as you can see here uh, the, the, it's one there because this is the same, similar to the five and three. See, all those are all three because those are just simple numbers. These two are false because, as you can see, uh, bitwise if you convert convert to binary, they clearly won't be near the same. Okay, so we go back here. Just want to let you know that JavaScript is open source. It follows the MS script standard, licensed under W3C software license by uh, various vendors. Uh, it allows commercial use modification distribution, allows making derivatives proprietary. So also, if you do wish to learn JavaScript, I do have the course and all these tutorials as you have seen for the learning JavaScript uh, series is that you all you need is a web browser you can learn at your own pace 24/7. Once you you pay uh, the amount, just a one-time subscription. There's no subscriptions. So you just pay a one-time fee. You'll be able to uh, learn JavaScript at your own pace. If you have any questions, you can simply use the contact form, and I'll get back to you within. The latest would be 24 hours, but usually it's, it should be much faster than that. Uh, so you can always uh, submit questions for reasonable around if you're following these uh, videos as you can see it's pretty straightforward all you need is a web browser you don't need to install JavaScript you don't need to install a fancy IDE or text editor everything is just there for you in a web browser now if you prefer uh, before I continue there's also a 20% coupon code called school you can use that until the end day of 2024 uh, to sign up uh, you can also use it for other courses. There's a PHP and a Python course. And there's also a learning uh, JavaScript, uh, just the ebook alone. It won't come with JavaScript or uh, an ID or text editor. So this way you can run, learn uh, as well at your, uh, your own pace, uh, any way you want. As you saw, I have done some tutorials. Uh, I didn't, I purposely didn't put them in the web IDE. Uh, but you can follow along with your favorite. You see, I, I was using NetBeans, I've used Guinea, I've used others. You can do that as well, and uh, whatever your favorite uh, web browser is, or uh, as I said before, if you have a uh, JavaScript to learn uh, to run locally, you can do that as well. Uh, if uh, check back soon because uh, on Amazon, I'll probably have very soon, coming soon. Before the end of the year, uh, there will be you'll be able to get uh, hard copies as well of the of the of the ebook uh, of the book, learning JavaScript. 
so uh, if this if you want to get this article so jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen bitwise hyphen and hyphen assignment hyphen operators uh, it's also in the description just like uh, the ebook and the course uh, learning JavaScript, you can also get it from the article and the references, the learning JavaScript course on jumboshop.com, learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you prefer one on one tutorials or if you have any suggestions for tutorials, you can just contact me uh, as I explain different ways. You can also go to jumboservices.com, like, that's fine too. If you need help with the applications, whether it's web, mobile, desktop, all multiple languages, Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Rust, C, C++, uh, or custom websites. Uh, whether you want to create your own website or you, you want to integrate something, it could be a third party, it could be a chat service, it could be payment processors, logistics, shipping, anything. Uh, I can help you with that. I can get a, get a free quote within probably 24 hours. Just visit ojumboservices.com. So that's the end. Thank you.